Imagine if leadership and development was a uniting factor for people towards a certain achievement. When people set aside their political differences and affront a cause that will benefit everyone. What does Omutuwa Wansi see as development in it? Buza mea achiega. Tauni kilaka achiega. Who is the problem now? That is politics. Join us every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. as we discuss matters in Tebe, the first Uganda's colonial capital, and what it deserves. Well, thank you very much for joining us once again this beautiful Saturday, the 25th of June, 2022. And every time we make an appearance here, every time we come here to discuss issues with you, you keep it, you make us proud when you tune in and listen. And for those of you who are following us on Facebook, Twitter, Kumba Times, Media Lab, we appreciate that every time we come here, we are always interacting with you. Of course, we also think when we come here, we come here with matters of national importance, matters that concern uh, the people we live with, especially in Entebbe and the neighboring areas. And this time, we will be speaking a lot that has been a trending in the country. And just like uh, most of you know, the conversation between uh, uh, the striking arts teachers, the uh, industrial action that was taken by the arts teachers in the country that is continuing to bite. And apparently, we've also uh, heard from uh, the lecturers in the higher institutions of learning also threatening to lay down their tools if government does not, you know, implement its commitment that uh, was made earlier on. A lot will be discussed, and we have many of uh, uh, the people, the experts that will be joining us to dissect this. But um, as usual, this time from the Media Lab Studios, I am joined by my colleague, Joan Akelo. She's a writer with Uganda Radio Network. And Joan, the listeners, can you say hi to them as we start the show? Good morning, our dear listeners and our viewers. Well, like I said in the start, a lot we will be discussing, especially from the industrial action that was taken by the arts teachers. And this time, we draw this from a point when the nurses and midwives first started. And Joan, I think you, you've also closely been following that. And from the nurses and midwives, we are now on to the arts teachers. Yeah, then when they also, complain of yes. the pay raise. And we have those threatening as well. And those are the uh, lecturers in the higher institutions yeah, yeah, yeah. of then learning. Also those who work in the local governments. <laughs> also wanting to. So them. we are going to have a series of strikers. Okay. So, but I want to just pick your mind on this. What's your starter for this conversation? Uh, one, I covered the strike, the beginning of the strike last week on Wednesday. And I remember there seemed to be, a, there was a bit of confusion on the first day of the strike where teachers, primary teachers were asking themselves, are we part of this strike or not? But then you could see some schools, when they, you talk to a head teacher, like the one of Bugok, I called and she said, I don't know about the strike, I'm not aware of it. Interestingly, her vice, the, the, the deputy head teacher, uh, Fred Damba, is the head, is the chairperson of UNATO in Tebe branch. So I asked him, the first question I asked him was, how come, okay, I told him, is the strike on? He said, yes. And I said, but how come you, the head teacher of Bugonga, the school where you're a deputy, does, she has said that she's not aware of the strike. <laughs> and then he said, no, she knows there's a strike, but she doesn't want to say it. <laughs> but then I realized she was not the only one. I mm. went to other schools, I visited some schools, and you could see that primary schools seem to have, it was a mixed day. Some joined, some did not. But, you know, like if, if you have 18 teachers and uh, only three have turned up, that is a strike. But, uh, yes. uh, it, then it, it, on the second, third day, it became, it, became, uh, it became clear that there was a rift. There was the scientists versus art teachers. Arts, yes. And yet it seemed like they were supposed to do it as a whole. Like science teachers, you've got, you're, you're getting the pay. But why don't you join us and we fight for increment of all teachers? But then the science teachers started to complain that, you know, the arts teachers are against us getting this money. So now it became divide and rule. <laughs> but anyway, One -sided, yeah. uh, that aside, we, we've seen many of the effects continuing to bite. I mm -hmm. recently, I was at Nachuogo Primary School mm -hmm. and uh, these learners are now loitering into communities. The parents are assured that every day they are leaving home to go to school. And some of them now 
take it upon themselves. Mm. At what time do they have to reach school? All the head teachers for the schools I went to were present at the schools, but they cannot regulate and control the learners. These learners are into Chitoro, are into Nachuogo, at a time when they're supposed to be in class. I think this perhaps brings an effect that continues to bite, that what if these children start getting involved into, you know, like we saw businesses, mm -hmm. earning themselves, we have the girl children involved in there. Mm -hmm. They have nothing to do. What they can do is play football, play with the boys, and then return back. Don't you think that's a fear? It's uh, a threat no, to their... What I recall is that the teachers, when they were going to strike, you know, to told parents, please don't send your children to school. Don't send learners to school. One, they are no, teachers will not be there. If, then, if there don't be anyone at school, be administrators. Who are the teachers? I mean, the head teachers, the deputy head teacher, accountant, you know, the people in accounts. The people who virtually hardly go to class. So if you send your children to school, they are going to, they are virtually going to be on their own. It will be self-administration. It might be easier at secondary level where maybe a student will teach others a subject. But primary, it's hard. So maybe from P6, P7, that one is easy because... At least they have a bit of maybe discipline. But a P1, P2 child, I don't think they'll they, they listen to another unless they, they have it in them that, you know, we have a class prefect who can teach us math. Let's teach ourselves. But that is why the UNATO had told parents, please don't send learners to school because you will not find teachers. We are not going to be there. Now what happened is that yesterday, government, I mean on um, Wednesday, Government, the PS, the permanent secretary of uh, the Ministry of Public Service, Madame Catherine, was saying on Friday, that is 24th of June, you either go back to class or we remove you from the payroll. So teachers are seeing it as a threat. They're saying we have a right to strike. And she was saying, no, but, but yes, right, while, as, while you have a right to strike, you don't have a right to close schools. You don't have a right to close a public school. But it I'm is government that closes a public school. So don't, stop saying learners should not come to school. Now, it is a dilemma. <laughs> a parent would send okay, a child okay, to but school. Okay, I, wa mm -hmm. I, want, I want to understand this in, mm -hmm. a, in a more dynamic way because mm -hmm. I also saw the, the, some members of parliament on Thursday coming out to advocate and support the teachers who are striking because they're saying that even if we force them to go back to school, but are they going to teach? Are they going to go to class? And will they teach their learners to understand? So it's more of a cardio of understanding it. But uh, nevertheless, we know that uh, the, uh, the ministry and government at all has a hand in this. Okay. But what really makes me, I think, seek another clarity on this matter is, why is it that all the increments are so much intrigued, that they are so, man, so much referred to the president? And someone say it is the president who says, what is the power of parliament? What is the input of um, parliament in as far as how these budgets are being advocated for? Two, hmm? do they anticipate that such a thing would happen if we only did this to science teachers? And Now, uh, you have asked so many questions, but let me answer some. One, uh, about let's, let's talk about just the threats. To say you cannot close a public school. You're talking about learning outcomes. Tuaweza uh, has been looking at learning outcomes, and they were saying our children are not learning. One, either the children, the learners are absent, or they are in school but they are not learning. Why? Teachers go to class and they're not teaching. So that's why we had some of them saying, "Okay, you're forcing us to go to school. We shall go, but will we teach? We can't even go to class and see because it's supposed to be head count." On, uh, they said they are going to make sure that inspectors, the DEOs, should go and do head count to make sure they find out who has reported to school and who has not. Okay, you go to class and find me in class. Mm -hmm. And they said, you find me in class. And you, what am I you, learning? Will, will, will I teach? What, what, what will I be teaching the children? You remember there was a time where they put a graphic of a teacher saying, I think, two plus two, and they said it's equals to one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, okay. So what okay. are you teaching? Now when you talk about the president, the constitution. The president is the minister of finance. He delegates ministers of finance. The president is the minister of finance. So when issues of that, like that nature, of that nature come, he's the one, first is the one who starts it. Why? He has promised that, you know, they had a common bargaining agreement in 2018 with the UNATO. And they said, we are going to increase your, pay, your salaries in phases. Now, 2019 comes, 2020, 2021. 
And I think what, what is interesting is that for science teachers, <laughs> they talked when the budgeting process was still on. That is because they had looked at the national budget framework paper, which usually is tabled before parliament in December. Now, it gives between December and January, parliament looks at what government is proposing. And then they say, this is okay. what we are bringing. And then by March, by April, when they pass the budget, or May, because the deadline is May, they have already made so many adjustments. Now, when you come, that's why science teachers think at teachers, the timing is wrong. One, they have come when the budget has been passed. Two, it's mock, mock time. But hmm? are you trying to tell me that uh, they were not uh, consulted upon the time when this was made because you're saying there was an engagement that was in 2018? In 2018, they agreed with government, and yes. government said we are going to increase so the So who is defying the other? Do you think no, government is I... betraying the teachers? Because <laughs> if we sat in 2018 <laughs> and we agreed years. that you'd work on my on, on my uh, uh, submission on, mm -hmm. on what I want, and up to this time you haven't, and then you are passing a budget for a certain section of... Mm -hmm. What we advocate for. Uh, do you think that in a way trying to divide the teachers at all? Mm -hmm. Because I see now it's, there is a rally fight between the arts and the sciences. Yes. Now, these uh, okay. ones are pro and these ones. No, I think it's about reminders. It's about reminding someone who promised. You know, a promise is a date. And I promise that I'll marry you. I promise that I'll give you this. I'll promise. Sometimes I forget. Remember, government. <laughs> The president has a very long list of pledges. You know, they are he pledged 20 <laughs> years ago. Okay, yeah? okay. Uh, so you must remind him, you must remind the government. But when do you remind it? Before, or during, after. or after? Okay. Now, that's uh, why they're asking, do they really, did they really want this money? If they wanted the money, why didn't they do it like science teachers? I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not against them. I'm just saying, this is what the science teachers are saying. You remember the time they came out? They came out when, one, the term was beginning. Two, the budget had not yet been passed. Three, they said we have seen that the money you had put in the national budget premier paper is not has not been allocated to the Ministry of Education. So where are you going to get money to pay us? So you see, so somehow you could see. The, the, okay, the, let's let's listen. Interventions. In. Let, let, let's connect with uh, uh, George William Kakosa. I'm told he's speaking to the honorable member of Parliament for Interior Municipality, Michael Kakembe, to tell us what was the input of Parliament in passing this budget. Didn't they anticipate that if they were giving science teachers this money, the arts teachers would not be concerned. And is this news to them that they're seeing the teachers go on an industrial action? And Musaja Waka Waka George William Kakoza, Tukufuna Vutele Vunyo Tegede Konti Oliko Gerane, Horare Maiko Kakembo Mbwa Tekama. Na yevi nitu vya alino tubu ulira. Vomu budgeteno, baro zanti, bwevona bana yongeza haba sumesa haba science, omusara nevera vira haba artsi. Chandi va de chilunjo va te va subiranti wa te wandi va de wa wagenda va kubira o o sko mugwa wa katiwa ba sume saba science na ba teacher. Jo Julia mukakoza tu kufuna sebo. Okay, weva le nyo weva le dalamuganda Ivan mu studio eza media lab au ku office za fenkuru ku entebe ya lero olwa lero tutunuli de ensonge nkuru chichi e chaba dem budget ye gwanga ne ensonge zigenda maso dalanga aba sume sa lero na ku Kabali mukasera koko kwe kala kasa, wabuta wele zavana, misomo mukira siza abu, ebiri current ya ba some sa ba isidwe chuoandi koko vamo minister ne government inti dala, teba damu, o kudamu kwe kala kasa wola ba sala magazi ba ingire ebiri na ba tani koko some sa ba zero ya ta some sa ba genda mukola konga mateka ba gara gira, netu chima njibulunji, emisara ya ba some sa na dala ba government gita mu budget ya guanga. Wenye mili dendi no mbaka, owe chibuga, echentebe maiko kakembo mwate kamwa, ya tuwe tegeso kwa gira kunsonga na dalezge na maso mwanga, nga zisi nzira mbajeti, oboli yao, ya isibwa, ya isibwa, haba sumesa muwebali, wabate mwuri. Sebo wana lebo soko vuze kubatulaba. Alatulaba anjaka lukubara msako, nye mzisa rongo kwa kimbo, nika ili mbwate kamwa, mwaka owe chibuga echentebe. Echisoka owe chitibwa. Chitufu mwaise mbali lila ayo mwaka gune, mbali lila ayo mwaka kukwede te waliyo. Netu waga lo kumanya. Mbali lila ayo mwaka guno. Yari ya bantubo na, bitongo levyo na, oba dala mwaisa ya mwe nga fete tumanyi kidua. Mbali lila kituwese ya Uganda. Yaba na Uganda, na yu uzuburi mguanga mwena mbumanyi. Mbali lila ino ya President Yuri Mseveni. Mbwango kule mbirwa, President Mseveni nga dikiteta. 
Dikte ta inovo bonero. Elebo chiga mo mtu wamu chalo tiku ndi dikte ta. Aba ta kite geira. Nzebi nombira ba nengam ba vanayuga na bongero tegeira. Tiku kurembe wamu kurembe zeboi ta dispot. Dikte ta na chile marida. Parliament weiri. Na yeye parliament yako rebi mtu biayo ne iswa mo ruga yu. Parliament weiri. Na yeye parliament ina kuwe korera. Atenga ina majority. Mwetemu ina majority. Bima na tuavi okera. Na yeye nzebi vanayuga na bano. Robert kwa wengine sitema ba gamba kwe beira. Bana Uganda basha ino buzibu bunji zintwa ku committee education singa njagala kuletira obujurizi nga abasomesa batuvuma aba science bwa wakanya echa president okongeza aba science bokka oyo sewungu ba mu kusajja nako ne video namba nga vuma sewungu ba somesa lwaki tsaka kuagaliza bafuti bagamba nedda muino kubabu mu mubere united muwanire wa munga aba somesa mumanye nako yamwe lwaki ko so selfish tinze ba ampe Bali bana ba shorting ni mukamba kwa bila bila ubino kikienda kurete entalo mugwanga kikienda kurete wakachanga rano mu system ya education kwa kwa mwaka fanani mu primary school musome za inali mu titi singa asoma keba specializing atende kwa kwa musomesa kati akola location ya gamba wawe nina deficit mu science p6 gendo somesa science wawe nina math obuzibu gendo somesa wawe na sst omusomesa wa primary asoro somesa chona atogena musa surotia Wewe tu abi ogera, kama sasa ogera na msa surotia, au sisi sabo na ba kaya ni le science zimu primary, ba kano sisi sabo ruganda, ba kano sisi sabo musici, au ba president msa mwenye agara kula kuguanga, inti no, au ba tadi ba science, tayari na muga serio kuguanga, kwa nini ba au ni abi ogera, ni bigano kuhuriwa, ni president msa mwenye na ba arrogant ili, na kama yeye ba tu ba kia agara, president msa mwenye afuze kuguanga ni nemi ya kaka tayari agenda muaga, ichi amazi mani nemi ya kaka afuze, bofu kwa mungu kati nemi ya kaka jari muzi antondo. Ndiya kajari mji akuloza nti kwe mugezi nige chama ze motande usiri wala Baje jafinanga katuwe nyo gira mumiaka anaja wafasi chavyo gira Ncho mtu wakura afuna chivaita diminishing root Ata ni kuhoku kama undo uoza Na yate ye obongo mbo sigara mungi mporogome ya rie nuwanye teja inamanyi Sigara ye uuma ngeru oze chalu mangabu ya kura ngachi Kwa kwa kuli ne mguanga buwebo Presidenti msebe ni amanyi tulichimu ya chite gira Ni kamarabi onange gare sajja ya ino kube noga ya inge sekele ya akura bulichimu kwa mzuru tuina mguanga ila ina wapayo na gama nze president wa Uganda ya ngambia vino kuba katika baba kabe muparamenti baina kuisa president mwesele ni chakura chika ya gala kwa kutomira kwa nsoo kutomira nika vino vya jaba mufe tuwa abira ba ni fili na kufro parlamenti tuwa wakanya ni baga mba wapo opposition hawa tuwa abira ba katika tani nsoo kubida kwa wangakati akavuyo kaze uli musomesa uli edimansa akura asa artisi ufuna milioni yeji kwa edimansa musomesa wa sinia una musomesa science Kuna boka ndebe buna, ni yangu kuzi ni yagabe tibi mukwata kwa kama ni presidenti afuna sente entono, usinga ba commissioner ba musinge nyingi, ni kaka kupre ininga. Kuna ebo, kati tutu nula, embere ni mukwanga sawa ya alero, abasome sawa science, bongo bongo zedwa sente, abatiz boba gamba, fetu tatu dewanse vikola, ojira ba wa. Kwa tuwa bi da bi da wu, kiongo njio de, presidenti musebe tuwa bi mukamba bi no, ubo dia uchimu gura amaso, na amatu pisa presidenti, amani nti parliamenti kanga juu kitiwa. Nyeso ngaki tuwa gara chibata independent institutions Insuwe nezili independent Nyeso msebe na gara nyenga rozo zite kamu parliament Parliament na ajikoza saa Gari ngari kumoti kumtura za nyiso obrogo yu Obrogo gosi Tuwa achi mugamba chino Tuwa achi laba fe Yata tuche jusa Kuli kuli kodi Tuwa achi wakanya Kati haba achi kiriza Kwa nduwa dobu uza Mwa kiriza chino wachi mwa achi kiriza Tutuwa achi labila uga chile sentaro Yata chie kiso kwete mitawana Ok, obuzi uwe tulimu kati Ebyagwa byagwa Nesa wa yoto tunuliru omu yizi Amaze wiki emu wiki sibiri nga tasoma Tukenda muko lelachi Bali kubiyalo bata ya ya bata ambula Basiva baza nya tukenda kola tutia Chana kunyo Mugwanga lino Bajaja faino rugeuriba gamba Kaimba nanta muliriwa Saba rogue bumba Bama na gila ni mamba muli anti Ligiato liya bumba na kola chiti na waraze mpaka na alinya ewa alinya kona agenda mazza ba musa siranga afando za bali batono kubanga ba mugaba twa kula budde fa bali wotu arabula nitoka ba nange chiki mugende okuleta chigenda kutata aganya education system yonna kigena kubonya abonyo muzadde na nyinyi kula school fees ne tawanyo mwana asoma chigenda tawanya ne yetuita coligines musomero asiza bade bagenda mu staff room ninga bona ba ruganda o tikya wa mafi tikya wa ruganda tikya wa music tikya wa fine art tikya wa dafa tu basomesa tu sachimu kino mukwano ngo coligines mu seven yaji kubiye kati ombuli omuyera ba munange mwa ba mugaso eri egwanga fete tuna mugaso mama mwa ba biology mwa ba mugaso nenga twa abiyogera president seven na agana kati omuntu ke president seven yalayira 
okura kula nyebye njigiriza na alete chintu ungecho na ata wamukisa parliament kujuhuliriza mbubuzo tulina tipeza nsebe ne, ne parliament ya jisa muru gayu wetesa netesa nisa nilizo ruso ni naseka naka tevitu alawa tutuwa bitesa katemuka bina gendo bitambule mbubi vuzi nenga ya jise teka mbubuloko government kwenye ze kunganya zigene mbubuzo Consolidated fund. Tumu kama chini chini onye bivuga na kanga chini jagara. Yachi kola. Parame nechi isa ne kupana kalumu. Na kaka chuo atachite kanga mukora. Ye problem yetu dina. This for me. Mukurembeza na chema lida. Awa wabora be nyere guanga ya kurembeza. Misa solo muendo mu nene. O mukurembeza na chema lida buat. Kati abia jusa kati 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 jusa. Eh, wasenga na yongeza sed. Kati inkoze. Kati nane sekuwe kaza kaza. Mwenye nenda bagoma mugeende. Kite kizaji. Amateka gara kwa kafuga bakozi. Le baloza alagawa. Ati prezi, Uganda ya fuka museveni. Bulichimu museveni. Hala metechi akora museveni. Elabu uwejua. Ne konsulente kuchu ajivu uza. Konsulente wa ajivu akoda. Kuliku museveni. Wapide takakende wa museveni. Museveni ya aligaba. Uganda ya kamarabi na. Owe buzibu wa dikiteta mkwanga. Kituwa haba na Uganda muwebe ili mune. Mata biraba. Ati buzibu muna buzo. Musaji ya akuze. Ya ukele ya gali fuke teka. Nisaji lavanga makage. Senabali mkwanga. Tuwa wanga mazukurube. Tena kwa wachitiwa. Tena insuso ni jaji. Wachitiwa. Jita buwana buwange. Watama ni bange. Ni parameti. Wana bange. Ni wapaze mparameti. Ajila tapa. Tuza anga tuzo wana buto. Mutu 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 mutu. Wanga. Yerebo wana vile kwaange. Miaka ana miji. Bana Uganda watana kwa chila ba. E kwaanga. Erifuki wa dikiteta. Nibo na abona. Nisa suro muendo muneni. Nako tukendo usasura. Ok. Hona libonga tufu ndikira. Yes. Kwebu uza. Omusome se sawa ya lelo. Takola. Yes. Omuyizi. Tali kusomero. Yes. E guanga. Education system wele kutaka. Education system wele kutaka. Vye njigiriza vye guanga vili kutaka. Vye njigiriza mguanga vye. Haba some se saa weno. Haba tade wansee vikola. Goba wama gezi ti. Haba some sa beberirimu. Keba tisibwa tisibwa. Naba naba liya moru kwe ba manye. Ndiye chiri kwa ano chija batu kwa kenja. Wenzo kwa zanti katika kakabuni kwa yekara kase. Arwani le dembe liye katupa mugove. Zengini tuwa romu ni mugwe. Na yero jagu kwa ata. Na wencho jakaba chechimu. Wasabe salare yungu rimendi. Keba kurimba chile chile atavala chile 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 waka. Awa sasa sabana na ewe elera mu. Tu jakupa yone guwango. Sanga ni international committee jakupa yeta ase guwango. Ukulo kero kula ka president yu msefini. Chile nda singwa ina mageza aga singa aga abarara. Emitue sato jisi ngo ugumu. Ulili za parliament. Nisi unga ngezo mwuzo wala mparliament. Bando ni wakuwa magezi. Gatuwa li nge chikuru. Okwe waroku tuto meza. No kusure guwango li ya tukukati abaga. Omutuo gumu. Omutuka sawo gama ni nze mugezi. Zenze kai na vision. Buchimu ze nki tegera. Eyo vye viva laka tuye tubo na abona. Njarete chintu. Ni mumu wa magezi. Na aga gana na ganze tumumbule. I am the president. Ni maro tomela. E guwango ni likaba maziga. Ni ye jusa. Aku ke maziga ketuka aba. Tuwa galo kusima na ukwe wa zomba kawa Kwechibuge chentebe Michael Kakembo mba teka mwa Orendo oza yonen songa zoku Gwanga wili mili de sawa ya lelu Na dela kuwa some sabata de wansee vikola Obuta some sabana ba gwanga Gwalie ya tulaba Na olinendo oza yo Kusonga ya ba some sabata de wansee vikola Atenga dale inzo ba ntofu Netu yamba ko okuzimbe gwanga liya fe Na dela mchibuge chafechi ne chentebe Okutambulo obulu unji Bela ko Buli unako romu kaga kusawa sato kutuka sawa nyako mkutu kwa famuga tabantu Media lab nge kutu sako entebe ya lero Mweba lenyo mweba ya dalo kutula ba Nze George William Kakoza Well thank you very much George William Kakoza Musajia waka waka That has been an insightful conversation with the Honorable But I have noticed two things He says the ruling party has the majority of the members of parliament in the house And this budget was passed in their favor So would you subscribe to his submission that the NRM MPs or the ruling party MPs perhaps could have erred somewhere and they contributed to this sit down or industrial action taken by these arts teachers. Like I say, I think, remember the parliament passed the budget last month. I mean, yes, in May. The strike started in June. So the considerations they made were for the science teachers. Who talked in advance? Who talked at the time before the budget was passed? The executive brings the budget. Hmm? And parliament processes it. From December, that's why I said the science teachers looked at the national budget framework paper. When they looked at it and then ministry, the ministries, ministries brought the ministerial policy statements. Now that is where you see where the money is going. 
when they checked in the ministerial, ministerial policy statement for, min, for education and sports, they found that the money for science teachers was not there that, for the increment. But you can Michael see... Michael Kakembo says the opposition members of parliament noticed it. Mm -hmm. But as opposition, they are never given a fair ground of submission of in course, national matters. The leader of opposition, and they were not considered. The leader of opposition and, yes, leader of op opposition and his cabinet or her cabinet the shadow cabinet, they always give alternative policy statements. So, I'm sure it came up. The only issue is, the government will always say, it has to be progressive. We cannot give you 100%, but we can give you this portion, we continue adding it. Now, the thing is, the arts teachers should have done what the science teachers did. They should have come either in January, no, we, we, we are speaking April. from a fair ground, a neutral ground, mm -hmm. and that's parliament where the you know where you are, talk. your statements are being scrutinized. Mm -hmm. That you bring an issue, but then the members of parliament look at it in a more neutral way, not mm -hmm. depending on how you submit no, and that's make it why better. I'm telling you. But for seeing some of these things, mm -hmm. you anticipate it. Who them. is going to see your problem if you don't tell? Don't you don't remind? That's what it's about reminders. When but I think in the past we've seen this budget is being passed without the influence of the working class. I think we've seen those. But when, if you look at the uh, budgeting let, uh, process... Let me give you an example. Unlike let the me COVID, give you an example. Actually, let me tell you, yes. if you're talking about that, I remember the, the Ministry of uh, Works and Transport. Do you know that the Physical Infrastructure Committee approved the budgets of Ministry of Transport lands without much information on one Uganda Airlines budget? What do they need? Because what was happening is that they had timelines. Remember what happened, the budgeting process was cut short. Because there's a speaker who died. You remember? There yes. was a mourning period. The speaker died in March, on March 20th. All that was in the middle of budgeting. So time to meet stakeholders, uh, you know, was cut short. They were in a period of mourning. But can we learn then from this? The, I want us to wrap up this before by we... April, you know, April 8th or whatever, whenever he, what, whichever date he was buried, all those two, would three you, weeks of mourning. Would, you agree, that, would you agree that members of parliament should learn from this? Perhaps mm -hmm. uh, as other sectors mm -hmm. also demand for the same because we are now seeing uh, the, the uh, higher institutions of learning also coping from it, that we have to influence. Are we learning from our mistakes? Maybe you use 30 seconds before. Um, but I think it's about during COVID, people never went to parliament, but they had interact. They engaged the committees virtually. You send, you interact zoom or something they had a way of interactions electronically but everyone is now, saying it how, how 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 hard is it for you to send a text to the chairperson of the education committee or to the speaker or wherever that you know what our money has not been increased it's not there in the budget okay hold i it am not there. blaming anyone but i'm just saying who reminded who hold it there let's let, let's get to uh, Stuart lubama he is the head teacher of uh Bright SS, secondary school here in Entebbe, though it's a, a private school, but I, we just want him to paint for us a picture and draw an insult, I mean an insight on this. And Stuart, you have the arts teachers and the science ones in your school. What do you think this perhaps can bring to a school and how is the mode of operation going to be if you have a science teacher that is earning more than anyone else? I am anticipating they will be the one to give loans to other staffs in school. But anyway, draw an insight of what you think about this. Yeah, my name is Chiwa Chilubuama, the head teacher of the entire Bright Secondary School, Chisembi Nkumba. And in regard to the ongoing strike by the arts teachers in secondary schools, I think it is a very varied strike because there is no way we can have a precedence that is going to be set where we have teachers of the same qualification teaching the same number of students, teaching them for the same minutes and the same periods as whenever they meet them. And they are being given a payment that is extremely different from the other. When you see the rise for our science friends, and I have to be, let me make this one on record, it shouldn't be out of jealousy because everybody would want a teacher to be well. That is our clarion call wherever we go. But it should be a one that is unity and unified, where we see that all of us can go up the ladders together. But the moment we have others having different payments, it is going to cause a lot of differences. And even the way we are treated, it is going to change. So for me, my opinion on the same, I think it is very varied, 
we need to have a uniform pay. In 2019, the government proposed what we call the national teacher policy, where even we are doing away with the teachers who don't have degrees, that we want all of them to have the same qualification, then we can have a uniform payment. For me, I think we should go with the recommendations which we have put in the teacher or the national teacher policy of 2019. But this business of uh, giving the science teachers more payment than the other teachers, it is going to be dividing us the more. Yet we need both teachers, science and arts, for the development of our country. The only reason I might be having or the problem I have with the strike, it might be the timing. Because as everybody knows, the budget has just been passed. And because it is passed, therefore, the recommendations and the changes which were made before are the ones which are going to be put in place. However, I think the National Teacher, or what we call the UNATO, the Ugandan uh, National Teachers Associations, and other bodies should come out loud to say that if for this year it is the science teachers, let it be maybe next year that all teachers are going to be getting a uniform payment or a slightly different payment. But now, as you can see, science teachers are going to be getting 4 millions and the art teachers are going to be getting 700,000 shillings. They are having the same problems. We are having everything similar. So there is a discrepancy there. So moving forward, I think teachers everywhere will have to come out strong. And if there is any way that we can go back to classes to see that we can meet the learners, because we know the bodies that lead us, who would have led us earlier into this industrial action, even when proposals were made before even the budget was passed, we would have already put up a spirited fight as our science colleagues did. So in so doing, we would be now sharing the same cake. However, I also want to call upon the science teachers. There is no way when we are divided that we shall ever be stronger. This business of calling you science teachers and arts teachers and calling you to be a little bit superior than the arts teachers, I think it is dividing us. Yet our role is simply the same. And the subjects correlate because you'll find that you'll never teach chemistry without using the humanities. We shall need all disciplines uh, as part of our education system if we are to spur our country to development. After all, will you doctors, who will you be treating if you're saying science teachers are more superior than the arts? When we talk about constructing roads, where will you get the taxes from? We shall need these humanities, the economics teachers, the entrepreneurship teachers, the history teachers to tell us at least about our heritage. And as that, we shall move forward. Which, t which doctor will that be without the values which are taught in CRE and other arts disciplines? Okay, uh, John, you've listened to Stuart's submission, Divisionism Within School. Uh, before we went to him, I said, I think the uh, science teachers will feel more bossy in my understanding. I am even thinking they will be the ones to lend the other staff's money if they have mm -hmm. money. If you come to school driving an expensive car and the head teacher who earns three times less of what you earn is telling you that you were late. But what do you make of this submission before maybe um, 30 seconds to go in for The divide and rule, of course, it has already worked because they are divided, science versus arts. But uh, what is interesting, I heard someone saying, is an English teacher an arts or science? Because you, you don't speak, you don't teach <laughs> you chemistry, don't speak chemistry. Any chemistry language. Have you ever had someone speaking biology? <laughs> so, speak but you remember when, was it the, the first lady, the minister, who said they should teach in uh, local languages? Probably they should try that and we we'll see how far. <laughs> okay, okay. You'll hold <laughs> it there, but. <laughs> <in Uganda. laughs> You'll hold it there, but let's go in for a quick commercial break and we'll return more of the conversations. We'll be coming through. We'll also have more other guests. That is Dr. Anna Baho. He's an expert, or she's an expert, I say, in international relations and diplomacy. She will be telling us what exactly government should do despite the threats that are being thrown onto the teachers. But also on the other side, we've seen members of parliament coming out to advocate for these teachers' rights and say, we'll support them. We also have the higher institutions of learning teachers saying, we are threatening if you don't fulfill what you pledge to us, we're going to strike. And let's take a quick break. When we return, more of the conversation will be coming. Keep it here. Entebbe, the land of freshness, fresh breeze, fresh water, fresh weather, and fresh foods. Entebbe is not just the gateway to Uganda, but also fresh foods supplied from 81 Sese Islands in Lake Victoria. Fresh foods from the garden to Chitoro Market and straight to your home. Visit Chitoro Market in Entebbe, Uganda's first capital for all your fresh foods. Uganda 
Australia's first colonial capital, the home of recreation and tourism. Meet its welcoming people and enjoy the fresh winds from Lake Victoria. We'll be back from that commercial break. We still thank you, those of you who are still watching us online in Kumba Times Media Lab. You make us proud every time we come here. But before the break, I told you, for more of this information, you can subscribe to all our pages, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, so that every time we hear, you get the information straight from us. But like I promised, we will be joined by more other experts to dissect this matter. And as I speak, Dr. Anna Baho, who is a lecturer and expert, with international relations and diplomacy is joining us online. And Dr. Anna Baho, if you can uh, hear us, what exactly should have been the mode of engagement by the government if at all they're coming out to uh, issue threats? They're saying, I think there was an announcement that was even uh, ending yesterday. It had a timeline, time lapse of yesterday. And if they're threatening, are we going to see these teachers go back to class? Are we going to see them, you know, go back to school and sit in their staff rooms so we have them attend to the learners, and will they be teaching those learners to understand if you can just draw us into that insight? I mentioned that it was a presidential directive. To begin with, presidential directives are not, they are common. They are not news. Presidential directives have happened. They have happened uh, not just in Uganda. They, they have happened in America. They have happened in a series of countries. And oftentimes, presidential directives are not to be debated. It's just instruction to the executive arm, to the ministers, that you go out and implement this. So following the presidential directive on the payment, an increased payment of, of salary to the science teachers, we have seen other groups now rising up as well, including the university lecturers. And of course, the government has reacted differently, which... Uh, um, I may not seem to be bringing results on the table. Of course, we have heard that uh, if you're not able to teach, you're not willing to teach. The first thing you should do is be, have your name documented down and uh, a time frame has been given when you will be laid off and new people will be recruited. This does not serve us as a country. It doesn't do us any good as a people. It affects, of course, children's uh, learning. Uh, it affects... Uh, you know, the performance of, of the country in terms of progress in education, but also human development generally, human security generally. And I think it is only proper that the government realizes that some of the decisions that have been taken are only an eye-opener to the community as a, a form of social injustice on the side of the government towards the people, because quite often um, artists are as capable of, as scientists of performing on the job. The only difference is that we are categorized as artists and the others are categorized as, as uh, scientists. It is prudent that the government definitely has uh, wheels to sit on a, a table of mediation, on a negotiating table with all the sectors or all the groups that are uh, now complaining. It is important that as a government, as a country, we find an amicable solution so that when people get back on the job, we do not get to see um, the same issues rising up because it affects service delivery. Education is a very key aspect of uh, human development. It is a very key aspect of, uh, uh, of uh, human security. It is a, key as it is a, a human right. It, it is documented. We are signatories to the series of, of human rights documents that exist. And so it is unfortunate when before the international community as a country we say, you know, teachers, if you don't want to teach, go back home and we are recruiting more. Then we shall have wasted money for those that we trained. I think it is important that as a government, uh, there is room for negotiation on either part, the government and those who are uh, dissatisfied with the decision taken by the government. We have seen these demonstrations come up. We have seen these uh, sit-downs come up. It has happened in the medical field has happened in the education sector. Unfortunately, the error is happening in the most critical aspects of social services, in the most needed, you know, sectors for human progress, for enjoyment of life, for attainment of, you know, dignity and meaningful life uh, for human beings, which is quite unfortunate. So it is for that reason that we, the government considers health and education 
as key and critical aspects of not just national development, but also development that is looking at the people. And even in, uh, in terms of the presidential directive to give a pay raise to the scientists, probably the president is also looking at how can we improve, you know, remuneration for these people so we can improve their commitment on the job, so we can get results. But at the end of the day, this is a clear indication that salary segregation within the different sectors um, gives us instead counterproductive results. So it is important that um, the cabinet, the executive arm of this government, looks into the possibility of negotiating with the bereaved, with the, with the, um, with the departments that are not comfortable with the decision or directive so far that has been given. Uh, well, uh, John, that's Dr. Anya Bao. Mm -hmm. You've had a submission and saying what the government is doing is not what is expected. Uh, this could be an example to many other uh, institutions, uh, yeah, public be servants. Because, too. because in diplomacy, diplomatically, you know, dip uh, diplomacy always talks about engagement. Yes. Engage, engage until you reach a point where you can agree. Can we say that? Or you agree can we say agree? government has run out of alternatives and options and in this matter? No, you see, the moment well, I have... Is I it the best submission they would have made in the, regards They will tell you, the government was arguing, the PS Ministry of pa uh, Public Service was saying, they went for the last resort option, but which it, is a strike. Do, do you think... And yet, industrial action, yet do you think it they will have work? mechanisms. But you see, t teachers, people have said before that the government only listens when you strike. You see, now that's where the problem so, is. So, that so. the government will not listen when you go to so and so. They listen when okay. you go to the street. Okay, but that's, nevertheless, <laughs> this is also affecting and parents. And that's a perception the, that the, people have. And the parents in some of, places. The effects of the industrial mm -hmm. action is also you know, affecting the... In some places, the, like in Imbali, some parents join the strike. Okay, but mm -hmm. it, we, we also understand the effects of this industrial action mm -hmm. is affecting parents. Parents who wake up in the morning, like you earlier say that uh, the, the UNATO came out and said, don't send your don't children send your to children school. To and school, some yes. of them are going. Mm -hmm. So we see them loitering in the trading centers, mm -hmm. going into the... And some parents are sent away their domestic workers, saying my children will be at school. At I school. Know. And I'll, I'll, I'll drop time. them at this time, pick them and I leave work. Like that. But now they're also affected. Okay. Somehow they are supposed to, they are also... Okay, let's get it from uh, a parental perspective. Mm. And uh, uh, Alex Gita, who is one of our panelists, is also a parent. Mm. He's drawing us into an insight of what this whole thing means to a parent. Are we seeing children getting out of hand? Are we seeing them getting more challenges in as far as how this is concerned? And uh, Alex Gita, thank you very much for joining us. What is your take on this? All right, thanks. Thanks, colleague Ivan. Uh, when you look at the current situations as a parent of a child with whom we have been, we've toiled at least two years without education during the COVID-19 COVID pandemic, then schools are open and then after just a while, after close just to one term, and then in the start of the next term, then the teachers get on the strike. As a parent, we are we are worried and very concerned about our children because we, we are mandated to see that they attain education and then that they can catch up with other people who have been to school amidst the other COVID-19 challenges. But the most challenging issue uh, rests, uh, rests all with the, with the government. Uh, there is need of a national remuneration board a body that can consider how people are to be remunerated, uh, no matter be teachers, be doctors, be other civil servants. The pertinent issue is all about how can we all civil servants be remunerated, so as people can have a very good equal share in, in accordance to what they give back to society. That is one. Two, government needs to be well concerned uh, to us as the parents that they are, for them they are not concerned, those who are in the government positions, those who are into the political seats, the members of parliament, the, the town clerks and then the mayors per se, reason being that where an ordinary Ugandan takes a child for school, 
is not where these people take the, the, their children. Because for us, most of the children are in government-aided schools, the branded UPE. And then for them, their children are in private schools. So no matter that it is almost a week down and got getting into a second week, but the leadership is not concerned. People in government are not concerned. They think business is as usual. Yet, honestly, a child is at home. A child being at home when it is a schooling day, it bothers me and tortures me psychologically as a parent. So the government really needs to come out strongly because you cannot advance or bring an increment which is close to 200, 300% to a science teacher against uh, an arts teacher uh, whereby the arts teacher leaves the classroom and then the science teacher gets in the, in, into the classroom. You pay the arts teacher 700 Ugandan, 700,000 Ugandan shillings and then you pay a teacher for sciences close to 4 million Ugandan shillings. That is critical and imbalance. Honestly, even though it was me that I'm a teacher, I would feel really that I'm not really in any way considered and or thought of. So we pray that government intervenes and settles these issues as well because we might really as well call the teachers but these teachers also their children are in are in the same schools so they are on the, an industrial uh, action but well knowing that even their children are suffering but because they stand for a legitimate cause to me i see that's the reason government just needs to sit either subsidizes to to the other over 200 300 percent increment and then they saw they can settle and then mitigate the the, the issue and then the, the kids are back in class time is moving this is this is june we are getting to july in the next two two months they will be going in for for UNEBO exams Currently, I think by the start of, of July, they will be into mock exams, the candidate classes. So what country, what child are we bringing up for the next generation in this country? Or the government should come clearly to tell us that they are trying to create a generational indifference within the children and then within the next generation. Because if a child, my child today, does not afford to, to study, for close two years in COVID, now schools are open. Now he or she cannot be in class. And then in the next few months, he will be, he will be called in to sit for your neighbor paper. With someone who is already in school, non-disturbed in any way, and then what, the, what will the results reflect? So it will create a generational indifference where our children will reach a certain stage in the future when they cannot either compete favorably with the children of those who are the, the, the bourgeoisies who are already in good, good, good schools, or they will not live and sit on the same table with the children of the rich. So really it's so challenging. And then we pray as parents, let government do whatsoever it takes. Meet the teachers, sit, and then as well address. You see, because it was government, by way of conclusion, when we used to have strong parent-teachers associations, a lot of issues and grievances would be ironed out at the earliest stage, but they came, they almost narrowed them, pulled power from them, and then we went into the school management committees, which also are not all that strong enough to see that they can compare and then form a unison. That can help, but we pray that things stabilize for the betterment of our children, other than them loitering on the streets. Well, that is uh, Alex Gita drawing us an insight, of course, from a parental perspective. But Joanna Kelo, we have also come to note that the higher institutions of learning are next in strike. <laughs> Because they, I am they sure are traditional. They always they're strike. saying <laughs> <laughs> their pledge has, has taken long. And they're planning to strike. Well, mm. my producer says he's gotten pictures, Karas of NTV, from uh, the uh, representatives of higher institutions of learning also uh, threatening 
But as well, the members of parliament, a certain section has decided to join the teachers. Let's first listen in to what uh, these are saying or the, these representatives are saying. And then we'll return after and take some reactions out of it. Uh, producer, play for me those clips, Carlos of NTV. The meeting that we had with them on 29th of March did not call off our industrial action, but rather suspended. And number two, uh, we are informing the chairpersons of councils that our members have been patient. Our members have been patient waiting for this other announcement with its effects because uh, the, uh, the enhancement that was done in the financial year 2021 so 2020, 2021, has had its own severe effects internally in the, in the various public universities. And we are also requesting uh, uh, the chairpersons of councils to intervene in this matter because they are the ones who requested us to suspend our industrial action and indeed we did our part. We wouldn't want to see another uh, pulling of ropes uh, over this matter where the president had directed. And then, of course, we are informing uh, the members of the public, our students and our, mem and our bosses, that if this is not done, then members will have no choice but to declare an industrial action. But the reason why we have not uh, uh, given time is, first of all, we, are, we want to allow these engagements to happen. Uh, it is the first letter we are writing to the chairpersons of councils, and we expect them to respond and engage uh, with us and with the government but as we also uh, engage uh, the, the various stakeholders to ensure that this matter is resolved. But in the event that this matter is not resolved, then we shall give a notice with a date when this, matter, when this industrial action uh, will take place. Uh, but it's as soon as it can be, as long as this matter is not addressed. Come here as members of parliament to assure teachers that we shall continue fighting for their rights. And for this case, we want to assure the art teachers that we shall be there for them. But first and foremost now, Mbwa is a real and a true trained, licensed secondary teacher, started from Nkozi. So I'm a teacher by profession. No, uh, unless that you can take a cow to the, to the river or to the well, but you can't f force it to drink to water. Drink. Now, you can force teachers to classes, but you'll not force them to teach. Mm -hmm. So, if teachers go to schools and they don't teach, and they pretend to teach, who is going to lose? It is us losing, and therefore we cannot allow a situation where teachers are going to be forced to go back to school, to teach against their will. But you also know you have been, who have done uh, history, which they want to do away with, that all dictators world over, all dictators world over have fought arts. You can go and, and, and find out. And therefore I want to insist that the move to attack arts is a political move. Yes. It is not anything to do with the development or economics or whether we have money as a country, it is a political move. Government is threatened by the artists and they want to do away with those who are doing arts. John, I think you've listened to the members of parliament and also the general secretary of the uh, Association for High Institution of Learning mm. um, staffs. And they're saying they will announce when they will lay down the tools if their demands are not met. And then the members of parliament joining to support these striking teacher, this, the ones in an industrial action. What is your take on this? Maybe as we conclude, can I give I, you 40 seconds? I think say? our the country is full of, uh, like I said, people, people have got this perception that government only listens when you, you go on strike. So the strike has become the modus operandi. If you want something, just go on strike. You see what Dr. Stelanyaz did. <laughs> some I take, to tell us some that take it to that extent. Yes, but others take it to the point of every other day, a course of action. Either you go to the street or you go to so-and-so's office, go and petition at parliament, you know. There are things people do, you know. So uh, it has become like a strike. It's a, str it's a country on strike. Are you trying to tell and me that there is someone drumming as others are enjoying to dance? 
Of course. Others, were, they say, let us watch and see, but we, we, they say, I, I am with them. I, I support them. I support them because at the end of the day, they deserve that. They deserve that pay. Like they said, ah, we got to, if it means dividing the staff room, science teachers, you be there, and arts teachers, let's be here. You know, to let's divide ourselves, arts versus science, you know. Or the arts teachers, the science teachers have the association, and you know, you know, to might even break up or something of that sort. But at the end of the day, who is benefiting? But a, a child is affected. Teachers are not in class. If they come, they teach you, okay, if they teach you the two plus two is equal to one, is the government coming to this, correct it? Does, does this, government have capacity? Okay, yes, it can fire all teachers. Where is it going to get new teachers who do not have the same, the same spirit? The same spirit of... Uh, but striking. even the new ones that can be brought mm -hmm. <laughs> can as well <laughs> strike at one point. But anyway, do we, does this but suggest... That that a draw, a good example? Does this suggest and draw a direction that perhaps we may see other groups of uh, government or public, service, mm -hmm. uh, public servants also go on strike? No, just imagine, as... imagine a scenario where only the army is not striking, okay, and police. Yes, just imagine. Prosecutors have ever gone on strike. The people who have not seen go on strike are judges, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but if a section of the justice and law sector is on strike, remember there was a time the spouses of police officers went on strike. Someone will still say those were police officers because those are their spouses. The things they were complaining about, we don't have power. <laughs> if a policeman comes back home in the uniport or wherever they are and there's no power, uh -huh, who is suffering? Both. But the woman is the one who came out, or the, the husband came out. In 30 seconds, know? what do you think should be done to put this down? Because if it if goes If you make like a this. promise, keep it. A promise is a date. If you tell someone, I'm going to fulfill this. Of course, everyone understands. Are COVID, we not going to see all those people that understands. the same president has hmm? promised to make no, roads, to make hospitals, to make... everyone understands. Are they not also going to, this hmm? time, we're going to say we are striking? Ivan, everyone understands the effects, the negative effects of COVID, you know? But if you promised, and then I don't see you showing me the things that you know, I know. I remember I promised you in 2018 that I'm going to increase your pay. But understand that someone will say, oh, actually, he, thinks, he or she thinks about me. It's like you tell a beautiful girl, I'm going to marry you. Three, four years down the road, you don't even say, I want to visit you your singer. Yes. To go and see. She will think you, either you aren't serious or you're not interested. Now, if someone else sees her and you complain, mm. you know, you start giving ultimatums. Either you, you know. So at the end of the day, some of these things, they are part of their heart. They are heart issue. You promise someone and they see it as a date. And if you don't talk about it, they will feel you have forgotten it. And then they say, let me remind you, you know. So okay. some of these are reminders. Okay, yeah. for time reasons, we will leave it. But this is a war. It's, a, it's, it's, it's not a war. It's a battle, I think. We will leave it there, John Akello. Thank you very much for, for really making your submission. Yeah. Your case. But um, I think my point here would I be that... A, um, can I say something? Yes. I am among those who's I'm from uh, that up that up Kunye Road. You know that road is supposed to lead where the former president sleeps. He died, Obote. But that road has been on the the, the promise, Every time. the presidential pledge for I think twenty plus years. So really, who do we remind? <laughs> okay, that said, of course, for time reasons, we will not exceed this. Jonah Kello, who is a writer with Uganda Radio Network, thank you very much for making time mm -hmm. on the panel and discussing these national important matters. Mm -hmm. We don't take that for granted. But also, I would want to urge government that every time we engage the citizens into things that divide them, we'll never have a, stand, a, a, a country that is well formidable for a cause that will benefit everyone. Sometimes we may take these pledges so lightly, but um, they have an effect. People draw their expectations so high. You may never know. This may spark off more other sections of public servants and even the public where the president has made pledges on roads, on other infrastructures, and you may see them rise up. So I hope we should get a better lasting solution for these things. But the members of parliament should also perhaps draw a deeper insight, a deeper analysis of what could come out of these things before uh, these budgets and all these other engagements are being arrayed before the people. Time reasons I don't want to exceed here, but thank you very much for keeping it here. Go to our YouTube, subscribe Media Lab, Kumba Times, uh, Media Lab on Facebook and Twitter, all those so that more conversations will be coming through. I want to be out for now and I wish you a good weekend. Stay here. Imagine if leadership and development was a uniting factor for people towards a certain achievement. When people set aside their political differences and affront a cause that will benefit everyone. What does Omutuwa Wansi see as development in it?
Mbuza mea achiegana. Tauni kila haka achiegana. Who is the problem now? That is politics. Zote tu inacha akuria, necha tachigenda kubawo. Atene presenti Museveni, bananga chari baby. Join us every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. as we discuss matters in Tebe, the first Uganda's colonial capital, and what it deserves.